Hello everyone, Mike here. So on my quest to instill upon you the importance of self-care, I stumbled my way into recovery days. As much as I would love to continue talking about compassion directly, I really can't just blow by this one. Recovery days are actually quite a compassionate thing to do for yourself. Not only your current self, but your future self. And sometimes you just need to accept the fact that today is going to be a recovery day. And a recovery day for me is any day that I don't get at least seven hours of sleep. And it also includes injury, sickness, or simply feeling like crap. Simply put, it's okay to suck. It's not okay to skip. Now, unfortunately for me, I've been getting horrible sleep lately due to this midwinter weather that's gray, a uh, few sideways conversations with my kids, a Super Bowl, and I don't really know what else. Either way, my sleep's really been sucking lately and I can't get it back on track, which has led to a less than optimal version of me physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You know, this less than optimal version of me is running the show. Now, I reflected upon this, got that completed, nailed down my actions, got to bed early last night, bed for well over eight hours, boom, six and a half hours of recorded sleep. Ugh. So today is officially a recovery day, and for me, I wanted to make this video for you so I can kind of lay out what I do. Let's start with my morning. No matter how I feel, I wake up and I maintain my morning routine. That means I wake up, I meditate, I write, I take a cold bath for five minutes, then I carpe diem journal where I identify my big identities for energy, work, and love. At this point, I may shift one way or the other. If it's a work day, well, I go to work. If I get to stay home, well, I get back to being my creative self. I work on all my creative endeavors where I write videos like these, articles, I brainstorm for the book that I'm writing, maybe write on the book that I'm writing, whatever. I spend this early time in the morning to be creative. Now, my recovery day is just like any other day until I get to exercise. I'm going to say it again. It's okay to suck. It's not okay to skip. And we're not skipping exercise. Now, before I do exercise, I spend at least 25 minutes of trying to get a nap in or meditating. Now, Brian Johnson from Optimize came up with napitations, and I couldn't agree more. It's a combination of napping and or meditating. You're napitating, and I'm recovering before I get into exercising, which allows me to tune into how my body is actually feeling. Because when I do finally get to the point of exercising, I don't want to blast my body with workouts that it's not actually ready for. We're here to gain energy, not drain energy. These days are truly about regaining energy. And you can regain energizing energy through exercising for 25 minutes aerobically. I still try to exercise for a solid 25 minutes and hit my 10,000 steps a day. I'm building energy, I'm not draining energy so that I can be better tomorrow while feeling better today. And light movement and exercise is fantastic for achieving both of those. Now, my favorite part of the recovery day comes in the evening. And I make damn sure that I stick to my protocols on a recovery day. I aim to be in bed early and I'm hoping for at least nine hours in bed. Now, before I f get there, I gotta get through all the awesome stuff I do, which involves reading my kids, meditating with my family, taking a nice hot bath and some Epsom salts, and finally, strolling my way into bed between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. Because I am to be up at 5.30 to 6.30 the next morning. And hopefully, if I recover the right way, my alarm clock never goes off, I awake from my slumber naturally, and I set off to the day to rock it. Recovery days are ultimately about taking the time to re-energizing <clears throat> so that a bad night of sleep, protocol failures, or overexertion from the day before doesn't stop you from being completely awesome tomorrow. We all need to realize that we're playing a game here, and that game is infinite until we die. So, are there any routines that you can add to your life to aid in recovery? 
You got a recovery day? Ever thought about one? Hmm. You might want to think about adding one to your life. Think about that. More specifically, do something about that. And as always, feel better today. We'll get better for tomorrow. We'll see everybody later.